Hello friends, in the previous video we discussed about the overview of apoptosis in which we came to know about the various steps involved in apoptosis through which apoptosis is driven. Now in this video we will be discussing about the mechanism of apoptosis. So let's get into the detail. In order to describe its mechanism, we see it has got three different stages in its mechanism. First one is initiation, second one is execution and third one is phagocytosis. The execution and phagocytosis is same for all the mechanisms where the initiation mechanism is different like we have intrinsic pathway for apoptosis in which the apoptosis is initiated by intracellular apoptotic signals or signaling molecules and on the other hand we have extrinsic pathway for apoptosis also which is initiated by extracellular apoptotic signals or signaling molecules. Now let's first describe the intrinsic pathway for apoptosis which is sometimes also called as mitochondrial pathway for apoptosis because the apoptotic factor BCL2 associated X protein shortly we can call it BAX that leads to cell death regulates mitochondria to release apoptotic substance like in the form of cytochrome C. Being the intrinsic pathway the DNA lesion acts as an initiation for apoptotic signal. When DNA lesions is in the form of double strand breaks the first molecule which is getting recruited is the ATM serine threonine kinase which in turn activates p53 protein that's also called as tumor suppressor protein this p53 regulates another protein called puma that's p53 upregulated modulator of apoptosis which is a pro apoptotic protein this puma then activates the bax protein and the activated bax becomes mitochondrial membrane bound then this BAX protein opens VDAC channels of mitochondria. VDAC stands for voltage dependent anionic channels. And it's also believed to form MAC on mitochondrial membrane, MAC. And this MAC is mitochondria apoptotic induced channel, not membrane attack complex, what we see in immune reactions. And finally, after a series of reactions in mitochondria in presence of reactive oxygen species and calcium ions the cardiolipin is oxidized by peroxidase which leads to the release of cytochrome c into cytosol so after the release of cytochrome c from mitochondria it combines with apaf1 that's apoptotic protease activating factor 1 in presence of datp and through this biochemical reaction it forms a complex called apoptosome which is basically the complex form of cytochrome C and APAF1. And this biochemical reaction also gives off DADP after it consumes the energy from ATP. After that, this apoptosome acts on procaspase 9 and converts it into its active form, that's caspase 9. And from that, execution step of apoptosis starts, while caspase cascade starts. And finally, Caspase 9 activates caspase 3 which acts as an endonucleus and also activates caspase dependent DNAs within the nucleus. The activated DNA is then fragments of the DNA. Also the caspase 3 cleaves cytosolic and nuclear proteins that marks the death of cell and finally there is the phagocytosis of the residual material of the cell. So this is how intrinsic pathway kills the cell when apoptotic signal is received within the cell. Till now this is all about intrinsic pathway for apoptosis. In the next video the extrinsic pathway will be covered. I hope you like the video. If you like it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.